Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a survey form with Beehive. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to create a survey, what we need to do is we first need to go to beehive.com, log in into our account, and from here on, we need to get access a few things there. So at the left below, what we need to do is we need to go to audience, and under audience, you want to go to surveys. Now in here, we need to either click on the create survey at the center here or the create survey at the top right. Let's go ahead and click either one of those. Now we now need to fill out some information. So for example, first is going to be the title. So you can enter the title for your survey here, add a description as well as the CTA text. So this is the text that will appear on the submit button for your survey. Now in this case, the thank you message as well. So in this case, it's going to say by default, thank you for your submission. So once you've uh, updated those information, go and click on update survey and that should save your changes. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to go to responses. Now, responses will contain different information about your survey, like for example, the total questions, total responses, and completion rate. Now, in this case, once you receive your first response here, it should show up in here as well. Now, what we need to do is we now need to add our questions. Let's go to form builder. Now let's go and click on add first question and we want to basically enter the first question. So for example, I want to say, what is your name? And from here, we could choose short response here, but there are going to be different types of question types here. So you could choose short, multiple choice, drop down and long response. Now you could also add or basically use a custom field here if you want to. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on add question here. And in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to add a custom field here. So as you can see, it's requesting you or it's requiring you to have a custom field. Let's go and click on create a new one. And from here, we wanna say this is going to be the first name. And from here, let's go ahead and make sure to add this one. And we want to set this as text. Let's go and click on create custom field. Now from here, you could choose your custom field here value. On this case, let's go and choose first name here, or you could uh, create a new one that's name, uh, actually named as full name. But for now, let's go and click on add question, and that should add our question. Now in this case, it's going to say what is your name here, and they could basically just type, uh, type in whatever. So for you to add another form or another question here, just click on the plus button again. And from here, let's go ahead and just ask uh, a, a, a preference here. So what... Uh, what topic do uh, do you prefer? So this is our second question here, and we want to choose multiple choice here. In this case, all we need to do is we need to uh, use a custom field value here. So we're going to click on create a new one, and from here, let's go choose list, multi-select. Let's go and click on the name option here, and let's just say this is going to be a uh, prefer topic. In this case, let's go and click on create custom field. Now, once you've created that, you could go ahead and click on add a question here to add this one. And as you can see, we now have our multi-choice option. Now, you could go ahead and start adding your uh, options here. So, for example, this is going to be for drama. And we want to click on save. Now, let's go ahead and add another one. So, let's just say this is going to be action. So, let's just say action here. Click on save again. Now, by the way, if you want to allow multiple responses, you can go and click on allow this on this one. And from here, by the way, if you want to actually require a form, like for example, you require the name here, you can go and click on require on form option here. Now, in this case, uh, you could go and start what it, uh, add or start adding whatever questions that you want here. So once you're done, you can go ahead and click on the preview at the top right here to preview your uh, survey. And as you can see, we now have our questions and whatnot. And from here, uh, you could, they will just need to click on submit to submit the actual survey. Now, for you to publish this one, just click on publish at the top right. And are you sure you want to publish this survey to protect the integrity of data you receive from subscribers? You will not be able to edit any of the survey details once it act it is actually live. So make sure that all the details that you've added here are actually the final ones because you won't be able to edit this in the future. Let's go ahead and click on publish. Now, so you can see we now have our survey. So whenever you click on it, you have the uh, responses here, total responses. And if you want to uh, basically start uh, publishing this, you could go ahead and click on the copy button here. And if you want to enable a survey, uh, enable as survey, uh, subscribe at survey or enable to as unsubscribe survey as well. So in this case, you could go and start uh, adding this into your writing. So let's just start a writing here, just to give you an idea. 
So let's go ahead and just start add a forward slash and you could go ahead and type in uh, whatever you want here. So in this case, uh, for example, you want to add a link here. You could go ahead and link your uh, survey if you want to. So as you can see, we uh, just added a link to our survey. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.